I'm ready to go. You ready? Yeah. Support for Cinema Classics comes from Film Columbus, enriching our community to make Columbus a destination for film education. Ex Did I say that right? That sounded weird. Education. Okay, let me try again. Yep. Support for Cinema Classics comes from Film Columbus, enriching our community to make Columbus a destination for film education, exhibition, and production. Learn more at filmcolumbus.com. Cinema Classics is produced by John DeSando and Johnny DiLoretto. Listen to shows every Thursday at 8.01 p.m. and full shows online at wcbe.org. I'm Johnny DiLoretto. I'm John DeSando. This is Cinema Classics. And this is Redford's Time. I I, I'm assuming you mean Robert Redford. You're right, you're right. Are, are there any other Redfords out no, there? No, I know a guy named Redfield. Do you? And his first name is Bob. Okay. All right, so he... he close enough. He, it's close. Does he, does he reap any of the benefits of... Being that close yeah, and given nomenclature his, to yeah, Robert Redford? Yeah, given his current wife, I think he has reaped some good oh, benefit cool. from, All right, from that. good job. Good uh, job, Bob. He's in Old Man and the Gun. Yes, this is presumably his last starring role. Yeah, right. You think? He's 82, but he's he's still got the Sundance Kid charm. Yeah. He's still I got know. it. I I can't take my eyes off of this guy <laughs> anytime he's on camera. <laughs> and believe me, the camera is on him most of that film. Yeah. All right, now he's... Given the, I, I figure, 78 entries in his filmography, mm -hmm. he has only one nomination for Best Actor. Is that right? And Let me know. Don't tell me what it is. <laughs> uh, it's not Out of Africa, is it? No, it isn't. Is it All the President's Men? No. Is it... Um, it's early on. Early on? Yeah. Down the Hill Racer? No. That's, oh, what I is it? I forgot about that one. What is it? The Sting. Oh. Yeah, really? Yeah. Interesting. But okay. I think your responses are typical of what I think about him. He's so even. Yeah. You know, you could take any one of his roles yeah. and say, this is good. The thing that makes Robert Redford great, and, you know, <clears throat> I had to grow into Robert Redford because he's not a showy performer no, in the way like De Niro not. or Pacino. Right. You know, uh, he's never played these outwardly violent guys. So um, as a movie star... He takes some getting used to, you know yes. what I mean? Uh, but as I get older, I become more and more fascinated and enamored of his style and his work. Yeah. If you think back on Robert Redford's career, I can't, I almost can't conjure up any scenes in which he's yelling at someone. You know, I love the great yelling scenes, John, the great the, Nicholson the scenes. The only time I could but scenes. All right, no, listen to you're, you're Redford right. doesn't yell at The anybody. only time I remember him yelling? Yeah. When they're on the cliff. Yeah. And he says, I can't swim. <laughs> right. And I don't even know if that's yelling. But yeah, well, well, he yells when they <laughs> jump off of the cliff, for sure. <laughs> yeah. Well, and, 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 and that's great because we remember him, his defining film role would be as the Sundance Kid and Butch Cassidy in 69. Right. And then from that comes one of the great institutions, cultural institutions in our country, the Sundance Institute. Yeah. And uh, so, you know, that film, and he says that film changed his career. But I want to go back to a thing you said. Yeah. Again, you're always, you didn't even know when you're insightful. But uh, you're talking about Pacino and so on. Uh -huh. He was the first choice, I believe, of Robert Evans for The Godfather. For The Godfather. They wanted, they wanted him to play Michael Corleone. Exactly. Because at that time, a lot of ethnic types weren't, uh, real ethnic types weren't cast in those parts. Yes. You know, there was a movie, like, a couple of years right before that, in the late 60s, uh, called The Brotherhood, which was a mafia movie starring Kirk Douglas as the, as the Don. So, yeah, Francis Ford Coppola insisted on casting real ethnic Well, Pacino types. had won a Tony on Broadway. So uh, he, he, he knew that Pacino was good. And yeah. Evans just was really hooked on uh, on Redford, but as we see, and, and as they say, a star was born. Yeah, with Pacino. Um, all the presidents men you mentioned. Oh man, I, I think those guys working together in oh, some of the best screen chemistry I've ever seen. Yes, yeah, that was seventy six. Now we've and you mentioned to the natural, because he at the University of Colorado he was a pitcher on the baseball team. Is that right? I did not and know so that. He was an athletic guy, at, mentioned downhill mm -hmm. racer mm -hmm. as a skier, but he lost that position in Colorado for over drinking. 
Is that, is that right? He was a bad boy. Oh, good. Yeah. Yeah, but he re he retained that physicality through, mm -hmm. particularly through that. And it was some question, you know, why his face is so ravaged. I mean, let's face it, the guy's 82. But in part, it's because he's an outdoor guy. Yeah, and you know what? I remember that that criticism about him as far back as the 90s. Like, oh, my God, look at Redford's face. Oh, you know, yeah. and I thought, I mean, aren't faces like that great? You know? Oh, of course, and, 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 and absolutely. And when you see this film, Old Man and the Gun, you can tell they love his face. Most yeah. of the movie is on his face, and it's so glad funny that he's never succumbed to Craggy, that. Uh, there is something in his knowing smile. Mm -hmm. There is something about the way he slowly and lowly gives out his lines. Yeah. And it, there's behind that, there's an awful lot of wisdom that he doesn't force out. And the, the great thing about Robert Redford, and, and it's something that I think movie fans don't pay attention to when they're looking at their favorite performers. He is just as interesting to watch listening to the other actors, re reacting. Yes. His, the way he listens. Excellent, yes. To, to the other performers yes. on the screen is really kind of mesmerizing. Oh. In a way that it's, you're not paying attention when other people do it. Um, the, we do know that he did receive one Oscar. Mm -hmm. For best director. Yes. For ordinary people. For ordinary people. Isn't that interesting? Mm -hmm. How, and that, uh, I forget what year that is. No, that's in 1980. Yeah, 1980. So all those years back, he had the potential to be a great director, and he didn't. In fact, I have, he is one of, somebody says, somebody says. Yeah, yeah. He is one of, uh, uh, all right. Oh, yeah, here, here it is. Uh, here. One of six people to win an Academy Award for Best Director, though they are mainly known as actors. Okay, Kevin Costner. Yeah, you are good. Yeah. Who else? Um, God, who knows? Oh, uh, uh, Warren Beatty. Ah. Uh, Mel Gibson. Mel, Mel Gibson. Okay. Braveheart. Richard Attenborough. Got on Beatty. Yeah. And you're right. So Beatty, Eastwood, Gibson, Attenborough, and Costner and him. Cool. And I just thought that was kind of interesting. His other great movie as a director, uh, he's directed some other films that aren't that terrific. I'm not a big fan of A River Runs Through It. But Quiz Show. Quiz Show with is Ray great. Fiennes is yes. great. Yes. He also did... I think he directed Milagro Beanfield. Yeah, 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 yeah. With Ruben Blades. I don't think I've ever seen that one. Yeah, and it's not a great movie, yeah. but it was so clearly issue-oriented. Right. He's, a, he's an issue-oriented guy. He tries not to be, mm -hmm. but he is. And he's not, you know, he's also unfairly uh, overlooked as a comedic actor. You know, some of his... I'm thinking of, like, the Electric Horseman. Yes. And his yeah. the way he plays off of Jane Fonda. Uh, or Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid and the right. Sting. Oh my God, <laughs> that is terrifying. <laughs> Very good. Is that a masturbatory gesture? <laughs> Are you guys gonna review Halloween of here? Of course. I know. Right after we do our our yeah Android. What do you mean? We're doing Androids today. Who? Oh, me and you. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought, All right. I yeah, yeah. Like... Yeah, no, he knows that we're okay. going to do it. All right. All right. I mean... That's enough we... time for Robert Redford. Is it? He's not out of time. I don't want to stop talking about this guy. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't know what there is to say other than that we don't believe he's going to retire at the age of 82. Is no. Oh, wait, one, one last thing. Let me just yes. say one last thing. A, a film that he made recently... All is lost. All is lost. Yeah. Where he's just on a boat that's yeah. sinking. Yes. And the guy's alone. It's it's not a great film, but if you want to see how one actor who knows his relationship to the camera, if you want to see that sort of masterful control over a performance, that's a movie to take a look at. Yeah. And there's, I think I, I cataloged about a couple of lines that he had in that movie. I think he says the F word once. <laughs> right. <clears throat>